Sweet. All right. Today I'm going to show you how to make or how to build your own front end loader or for dirt moving, mulch moving, any of that for a lawnmower. And it's less than $50. All right. Let's get started. Well, here I have an LA-115 John Deere. Nothing special about it. Got some age to it. Runs good. Got some miles on some hours on it. Well, 294 is what it's supposed to be. Kind of showing. There you go. You can see it. 295. So she's got some hours. On this specific mower, they may have on other models too, like Cub Cadet and all of that. It has these mounts on the frame. You can see the cutouts. On the front, there's them too, in the C channel. What I did is I bought, I uh, can't remember, the minimum order was 20 feet of this 2 inch by 8 inch stick uh, steel. So it happens to be 2 inches wide in the C channel. So I just drilled holes to mount to the thing. So this whole bucket, frame and all, is mounted just on four bolts. Everything else is just kind of free floating. When you come off of that, that's your mounting point. Clears the hood and all, at least on this specific mower. I have bent and bolted and welded the same steel. We have a hinge made out of bolts. Bolted and welded cross member. Another hinge. The bucket that I made, you could do different. This one I just made out of some scrap metal I had laying around. This is the dumping mechanism, which is simple as it's a piece of steel coming up from the bucket mount itself, the frame. This is a support bar going to the hinge to give you as much strength as you can on this piece because this is actually holding the weight of the bucket, this piece here. I have a piece of angle iron that I cut a little notch in that holds the bucket. It's on a string, so when you lift it up, all you gotta do is pull that string and it dumps. Moving on from there, you can follow the string up the handle. It goes up to where the driver sits, so you can raise and lower the whole assembly and release the bucket. Here I have a spring assist I made. These are as simple as just some springs that came off of compressors, uh, air conditioning compressors. Just bolted and drilled through the frame here. The handle right here when you're sitting at the seat, this thing I need to adjust to where it doesn't swivel anymore. It's just a chair swivel. But when you're sitting in the seat, it's as simple as just lifting it up, shoving it under the brake foot rest, which can still be used. It doesn't affect its functionality. You can see right now it's in the dumping position. When you're ready for it to latch back up, the, um, you simply just lower the whole assembly down and back up a little bit. And it'll pull it back to where it locks in on the, uh, the latch there. You need a little bit of a spring on it. But it's as simple as it just latches there. It'll hold, I tested it, it holds 40 pound bag of uh, grass seed. So you can move sand, mulch, that kind of stuff with it. And when it's time to not use it, those four bolts that hold it to the frame is all you need to remove. And you're good to go. Let me give you some good views of it. You can see all my pieces I made and bent. Um, if you want to make the very similar or the same thing I have here, I'll tell you mine dimensions this piece that runs in the C channel that bolts up is 12 inches long this piece is 12 inches long this piece is about three inches long and then a one inch angle here that's bent over to catch this piece the bucket is 36 inches these pieces I believe are 13 inches they were 15 in total with the dog gears before I bent them so it's about 13 inches wide at the frame rails. Over here, both of these are about five to six inches long and bent over. I welded these 
really welded the mess out of this section because this is holding all the weight of the thing when you're lifting and lowering it. So you need to make sure this piece is very secure. So I welded all of this up into the bolted. But doing just one won't be enough. It'll bend. You have to do two. Probably be best even if you welded a flat piece on top and bottom and give it a little bit more rigidity. And then your release mechanism you can do however you like. This is just how I did mine. Make sure you have a spring so it'll latch back on the uh, catch. Bucket. You can do however you want. I just used some, some you know, semi-decent sheet metal from an uh, air conditioner. See, I don't know what gauge it is. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. And then underneath, for strength, I ran two more of these 2 by uh, 2 by 8 pieces of steel just to help, you know, strengthen it a little bit. And that should be about it. If you liked the video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks, and have a good time.